little sage and she's got some excess hair in her ears that is causing her to scratch it it's getting a little bit red from her scratching it the hair when it builds up it starts to kind of annoy them and they scratch it and it gets red here's the ear powder i'm using it doesn't really matter what the brand is as long as it's ear powder for dogs and cats so it just helps you to get a grip on on the um, ear hair so you can grip it better. It's okay, there we go. See, her ear's actually really um, itchy, so. You can easily just rub it in and it just helps to dry everything out and gives you the grip to be able to just very lightly and uh, without any pain or damage, no injury, because the last thing you want to do is cause an injury that wasn't already there while fixing another problem. So it gets into all these crevices and it helps to sterilize them and neutralize them. So now, because she's got such a tight little space in here, I can't really get my fingers in properly to pull this hair out properly. So I'm using these needle nose pliers and they've got a little spring action on them. So I can just give this a little bit of a um, scratch around in here gently with the end of it to just sort of get the powder into all the crevices and then I just sort of pull the ear open and just gently grab some hair and whoop, see that and the this powder it not only gives you grip but it tends to make the hair break off so it when you pull it it doesn't hurt them. See that? We've got that great big giant chunk from down there, but not too deep. About maybe half an inch at the most, not even. And you can see she's not even making a noise. So that's because it's not... Here we go. Oh, look at that. That's a nice big chunk. And... See, it's a big... It's a lot. And it's not hurting her. If it was, trust me, she'd be complaining. But the idea is to do this before it gets to the point where it's in infected. Look at that big chunk. See, and this is now starting to get a little stinky, a little sour, and a little waxy because it's getting, it's down a little bit deeper. So we're getting all the good stuff. Look at that. See, and because, because she doesn't have an ear infection, it's not hurting her. So the trick is don't wait until the ear's infected because once it's infected, they will not let you do this stuff. Look at that big chunk. See, that's getting down deeper. And if I give it a sniff, it's a little bit sour. Not too bad, but it's a little bit sour and a little bit moist. All the naughty hair is out of there. And the stuff around the top here, you can just sort of pull out with your fingers and make sure it's all nice around there. I'm going to get my clippers in a minute and just clip around here. So as you can see, you can just trim. It doesn't have to all be plucked out. Just trimming around. Because this stuff under here doesn't need to be here. And now we've got ourselves a really nice clean ear that is not going to get infected after this all comes down i'll put some ear flush in there just to flush all the dry powder out but that is now a really healthy ear good girl thank you my love